It's time. It's time to focus. You are still making excuses in your life. Still holding on to the pain from the past. Not allowing the pain to have purpose in your life. You're going to have to get to a point sooner than later that you know everything has purpose. And if you understand the purpose of pain, you understand that the pain is not to destroy you. Instead, it is to deploy you to the destination that you were destined for. You are in control of the outcome of your life regardless of what has happened to you outside of your control you must not allow the pain to stop you instead you must allow the pain to deploy you to empower you to strengthen you to grow you to show you who you are and who you are. Spend more time focusing on the things that you can change versus the things that you cannot. See too many people focus their energies on things that are out of their control. They focus, they talk, they sleep, they dream. They put all their energy into things that are out of their control. And then on top of that, to make matters worse, they add on top of that. What they do, they focus on all of the things that are not what they desire. They focus on all the things that can go wrong. They focus on everything that will not work, that will not get them to their goals that will not help them become the best version of themselves, that will not give them the answer to the prayers that they prayed for many years, days and nights on their knees crying. They focus on those things and those things are killing them. These things are destroying you when you focus on things you can't change, when you focus on things that are out of your power, out of your control, you kill yourself, you kill your dreams, and you also destroy the likeness of others that are around you. Why? Because then you become negative. Then you become a despiteful person. Then you become a nagger. You nag about everything instead of planning on everything and planning your way on victory, on planning your way, on climbing on top of that hill, on planning your way to becoming that great version of yourself. See, when you sit there and you allow your past to torture you, to haunt you, Instead of lifting you up. Instead of empowering you. Instead of showing you how much power you really have on the inside of you. You give power to others. Don't give power to others by allowing their actions towards you to control you. You can't control the actions of others. But one thing you can control. Is the actions that you apply. The response that you give to the things that have happened to you. Good, bad, or indifferent. How are you going to respond? How are you going to process the information? How are you going to make the outcome desirable? To get you one step closer to your goals. One step closer to your dreams. One is better than zero. One thing each day can get you closer to the outcome that you desire. Every time you feel like giving up is a test to see how serious you are about the things
things you say you want. For real, what do you want? What do you desire? If you don't know, you can't go in the direction that you're trying to go. You can't go to victory if you don't know what direction victory is. How can you plan and believe you can achieve when you don't even know what it is you desire? Once you know what you desire, once you understand what it takes to get to the things you want, then you have direction, then you have purpose, then you have drive, then you have energy, then you have discernment, then you have a passion to push until you get to that point in your life. You won't stop until you get to where you're going. You'll climb that mountain, you'll climb that hill, you'll go through that wall, you'll dig under that bridge, you do whatever it takes to get to where you're trying to go. What do you want? Write it down. Document it. Speak it every single day. Say it out loud. Sing it. Live it. Breathe it. Eat it. Sleep it. Dream it. Make it become one with you. Become obsessed with what you want to become. Become obsessed with who you want to become. Become obsessed with what you believe you were sent here for. You must become unbalanced. You must become unbalanced for a part of your life in order to break through that barrier of good to great, of great to legendary. You cannot be average. You cannot be the same old person that does the things that everyone else does. You can't be a person that follows all the rules and does everything in alignment with what society has told you. If you follow every rule society has, you will die mediocre. You will die unfulfilled and you will die with regret. You must focus on the things you want. You must not let what you're going through stop you from what you are going to. Yes, I know you're going through hell. You've had many obstacles. You've had many setbacks. Yes, you feel like a car in neutral. With your foot on the gas. Making a lot of noise, but no movement. But remember, everything has a purpose. Knowing that everything has a purpose, you can then look at yourself. Oh my gosh. Instead of me looking at myself as just idling and not moving, the creator is showing me how much stress and tension I can actually take. How much RPM, how much pressure, how much weight can I withstand? When you realize that, then you take that thing from neutral and you drive to your goals. You drive to your dreams. You go and you let nothing stop you from going and becoming everything you have. How long can you run without breaking? Even if you feel as if you're not moving. You need to make a choice today to focus on the results you desire instead of the things you do not desire. In order to become great, you must go through the pain, the struggle, the pressure, the trials, the tribulation, and everything else that comes along with it. You must prove to yourself your worth before getting the thing you desire. If you do not, instead of getting what you desire, the things that you desire will get and have you. Don't lose yourself. 
gain yourself and then gain the things that belong to you. You need to focus on being the best version of yourself. Prepare to be different from everyone else around you, including your loved ones. Act different than others, not because you're better than them, but because you're better than you used to be. Whatever you give the most energy to is the outcome you will most likely receive. So you must know what you want, who you are, and why you're here. And focus only on the ways and outcomes that you desire in order to get there.